The Michael Hatfield Remax team presents Real Estate and More. Bay Area real estate is different than in all of America. And why? What's up with home buyers? What's on sellers' minds? How is the market? And much, much more. Now, here's your host, Michael Hatfield. Welcome to the Real Estate and More show. And I'm so glad you're tuned in to our show today. We're on uh, the weekend on KGO Radio as well as uh, KSFO Radio multiple times. And we're just glad that you're here taking a look and listening in that case to what we have to say. We have some real important things to say. And the first thing that I can say, it's funny how you end up meeting people but some of the most beautiful hardwood floors have been done by Rose Fall Design in Pleasanton, California. And being in real estate, as Nance and I are, we've seen those floors and they are gorgeous. And then we discovered a new dimension. The founder of Rose Fall Design, Rose Fall, is an amazing person that goes way out of her way to help people. She is the founder of Empower Global Women. And just to look and listen to this is worth it, folks. I hope you listen all the way through this today and discover what a remarkable organization has been founded by this young lady. So I'm so appreciative that you're here on the show today speaking to us all the way from the south of France. Welcome, Rose. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Good yeah. to see you. <laughs> tell, us, tell us a little bit about yourself. You have so much amazing things that you do. Um, just tell us a little bit about it, and then we'll get on to some real important stuff. Well, I'm Rose Fall, Fall Design. I'm a hardwood flooring specialist. I've been in the business for over 23 years just selling, creating hardwood flooring. And uh, I'm also, like you say, yes, the founder of um, Empower Global Women uh, that I created back in 2023. This is our second season. We launch it every year in March for Women History Day. Women History uh, Day, yes, March 8th. And the... Uh, yeah, and this year uh, we created um, a new perfume uh, for Empower Global Women. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. Can you, first of all, go back a little bit, describe your life growing up and the oh. actual source for your concern uh, to where you founded this wonderful organization? Well, um, after working in the flooring uh, industry and still working in the flooring industry for so many years, uh, in 2020, I went back to my route. I went back to uh, my birth town, Senegal, Dakar, um, where I just decided to go see my family. And while traveling over there, I discovered that um, there was a lot to do. And um, I decided to buy a little land and thought that I should be building a wooden home over there, still, again, related to wood. So because I had connections in Brazil and they were all telling me about wood, uh, wooden home that they can do in 30 days. At first, it was a project that I was thinking I will do with somebody else. And um, at the end, it was not possible. But the um, project was so tempting that I decided to do it on my own. Mm. So after visited, I bought the land. And 30 days after, I was in Brazil already picking up the, um, the, the style of the house. And then... Uh, few months later, I was starting to do the construction and was um, around a lot of young women and men and a lot of people that were so impressed about what I was doing in Senegal that uh, they were telling me that I was inspiring them. When I was thinking that actually they were the one that were inspiring me uh, doing this project because I wanted to do it so much for them to show them that this is doable and I wanted to give back after getting so much um, working in the flooring industry I just wanted to give back so 
Mm. And mm. so this this house project is kind of went uh, away to helping people there that well. need to be empowered, right? Exactly, uh, giving them hope, uh, providing jobs, and then making sure that people know that if you are looking to do something, it is doable. It was really the message that I was trying to give. So that at that time, when I was almost done with the house, March was coming, and then this young woman came to me and said, uh, what can you do? What can you do to uh, uh, to to empower other people and then to send your message a little bit further. So went back home and then just start working on a t-shirt. I knew I had a friend that um, could create those t-shirts. I called in less than a second. He was like, yes, sure, I'll help you with your project to make those t-shirts. I called back that young girl from Senegal to say, I think we can do it. So I only have February, March to make it happen and we will make it. And then in less than a month, we had the t-shirt, we had the website, we had people also, that's what is so inspiring, people that I know uh, that just put together the website saying that we will help you for that. And then we just launched that March 8th, the first year we got um, 20, about 20, 21 members. Uh, people that I could not believe will join join people that were powerful people that were just touched by this message were able just to uh, to to take the movement and then just have fun with it and empower other people, young women and and men and really it's about well, empowering everyone. The world really needs people that can actually em empower others, give them confidence that they can actually do something. I, I just think it's so, so very important. And for you to take uh, the time that you grew up and say, well, you know, I would like to build a house. And then you find a way to build a house for $50,000 in your your country of, of Senegal. And you say, well, you know, I can help other people to do this. And especially the young women by having an uh, organization and bringing other people together to, to make it happen. It's a, uh, it's an amazing thing that you do, Rose. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rose Thank fall design. So Thank you so much. <laughs> Empower global women has um, a website. It's empower global women dot yes. Org. Mm -hmm. And you can go on there and see if there's something you can do. Uh, you know, if you, you need you need to recognize something that is needed to be done, set about it, just like this young lady has done so remarkably, and it continues to grow um and and prosper and to help people. Is this only for young women, or what about an older guy like me that might need some help? <laughs> what could be done there, or is that just outside the scope? No, really, it's just, it's for everybody. Uh, we all need to be pushed. Sometimes it's just something that is very small that can make a big impact. So it's for everybody. So, and even if it's called Empower Global Mom Women, it doesn't mean that it's just related to women because people that helped me put all this together were men. So it's really for all of us. Um, mm. now that we did this perfume that say empower global women, men are asking for it. So the nice thing about the wording, uh, we can have men at the end, power global men. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we, I think we can make it happen. So it's all of us. We need to empower each other. For sure. That's an admirable admirable uh goal to have the key initiative and activities at this point obviously people have to raise money and get help it seems like that your personality is bringing a lot of people into your organization to help but to fund it um these t-shirts if people go in and they buy these t-shirts or in the case of this year which is this wonderful perfume everyone that has has actually experienced the scent wants to buy it and i hopefully there's still some available um that that can be purchased uh, can we find out about that on the website we can 
find the perfume online is on Shopify, but also from our website, empowerglobalwomen.org, you can go and purchase the perfume. Uh, right now, we have a big conference that is coming. It's uh, We are helping someone um, present uh, his book, and um, the perfume will be on sale. So part of it will go to a new association that will be here to help and empower other person, other other people. I won't say women anymore. I will say other people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's fine. I I, yes. I can really see where it started and how important it would be in a country where you know the there's there is poverty, is poverty everywhere, but in a country that has an excess amount of that and to give confidence mm -hmm. and hope to people is is just a remarkable th remarkable goal and I respect yeah. you so much for that. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Real Estate Minute with REMAX expert, Michael Hatfield. Michael, what traits should we look for in selecting an agent? Look for a deal maker with a positive attitude who will work tirelessly for you. An agent who is adept in multiple offer situations, drafting contracts, marketing and advertising a client's home, is familiar with multiple cultures, experienced in mortgage financing, inspections, and escrow, is a huge asset to his client. What can you do as a plus for clients? Your agent is your eyes and your ears, one who works behind the scenes on your behalf, a great attitude, working well with others, and keeping clients' priorities number one is a given for us. Call 925-322-7775 now to schedule an appointment or complimentary home analysis. For excellence in real estate, call the Michael Hatfield REMAX team at 925-322-7775 or go to michaelhatfieldhomes.com. Now, back to our show. Oh, thank you. And oh, then yeah. the, 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 the nice thing about the t-shirt last year was... Uh, he was helping this um, person that just opened a company selling T-shirt. So part of him was helping his business. So every year we have to come up with a new concept. So last year was the T-shirt. This year was my my perfume. Um, again, um, because this is just the beginning, I, I was not able to get the fund, but all design myself, I was able um to to create the perfume to make sure that we get everything that we need to get to be able to put it online for sale uh so part of the money right now is helping one of the association uh here in in Europe and in Africa is is, is helping right now uh and then next year we'll have to come up with a new concept uh Probably some of the new member from this year, some of, I kind of noticed one woman, one young girl that wants to push her business and probably she will be the one who will feature next year. So it will be a surprise. But every year we would like to encourage people not to give up on what they are doing and to, to just on pushing and pushing. And that is all about empower global women and empowering each other. We are so all... So, so if, if I understand this right, then a person that has a business and they're trying to build their business, but yet has a heart to help others can do that through your organization. So it's a bifold uh, target, objective, or goal of Empower Global Women, I would think, right? Yeah. Yes. That's, that's really remarkable. Right. There's a lot of smart people in... Um, organizations like your your own that have come from other um, vocations. And one that comes to mind, and she's been on the show, is uh, Carol Patterson with uh, Shepherd's Gate, which is, um, they're not huge, but they're in the San Francisco Bay Area, and they really help people. The remarkable thing about Ms. Patterson is she's a lot like you. She came from some background that motivated her to help others. And now she's the CEO of, of Shepherd's Gate. I'm going to hook you up with her because I think the two of you dynamic ladies can really do a great job. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that. 
So you're listening to The Real Estate and More Show, and I'm your host, Michael Hatfield. We're talking to a very nice young lady in the south of France today, and she actually has a business called the Rose Fall Design in Pleasanton, and that's where we discovered her with the most wonderful hardwood floors you ever did see. You can find it online. It's very easy to find. They've been in business a long time. But the remarkable thing about Ms. Fall is that she is the founder of Empower Global Women. Let's get back to it. So even though um, EGW is a non Profit and it's unfortunately our organizations uh, need help with um, people and the level of funding. Well, how do you get people? Do they just gravitate towards the website and a phone number, or how do you get people to become involved with Empower Global Women? So right now it's really uh, with social media, which means Instagram. So that's what we are doing the most. Uh, this year, I was able to do a uh, adventure event where everywhere that I went while traveling, I will take the bottle with me and I will meet uh, some member that uh, that join Empower Global Women and then have like a get together. Somebody will host and bring friends. So that's how we get like new members uh, by doing the the traveling adventure. So uh, we love to do more marketing. We love to publish it a little bit more and then but we will need definitely help with funds and push that a little bit more. But so far with uh, social media and then from word to mouth, that's where people are hearing about EGW. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this year with the platform really created something unique. I, I love this week. I got this text from this girl from Senegal who say, I need more of my perfume. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I think we don't have a lot left in Africa. And she's like, we should have it all the time. I cannot wear any other perfume. I, I, it's not because I make it, made it, but I think like there is really something empowering. So I think that if you really put your mind to it and you really create something that you love that come from the heart, then you really relate the message to other. And I think that that's what's going on with this perfume because there is something in it that just wants you to, to have it. And when you have it, the feeling that we want is that you're not alone. Mm. It's unbelievable. You explained to me at one time the process that you went through in order to come up with this scent. And this scent is it's definitely empowering. And I'm going to go online and, and buy this for Nancy just as soon as we're off before it runs out. Um, so go to the empowerglobalwomen.org website and figure out how to buy it. Just buy it because I have to tell you, it is an amazing scent. You know, I, I just keep thinking about people and funding, people and funding. You bring people together and you derive the funding, you derive the help that you need in your organization. It's it's really pretty exciting, I would think. Yes, very exciting. You're not going to let us know about what product that you're going to add for next year. As and next uh, year, I'm surprised actually by now I should have a pretty good idea but um, I'm waiting for October Rose to be done. <laughs> then I will pretty much know what we're going to do next year. You so, get back to us next time, right? I will get back to you. But definitely there is somebody out there uh, from our Instagram page that really touched me with her story. And I believe that I will be able to do something with that person for next year. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Michael, what traits should we look for in selecting an agent? Look for a deal maker with a positive attitude who will work tirelessly for you. An agent who is adept in multiple offer situations, drafting contracts, 
marketing and advertising a client's home, is familiar with multiple cultures, experienced in mortgage financing, inspections, and escrow, is a huge asset to his client. What can you do as a plus for clients? Your agent is your eyes and your ears, one who works behind the scenes on your behalf, a great attitude, working well with others, and keeping clients' priorities number one is a given for us. Call 925-322-7775 now to schedule an appointment or complimentary home analysis. For excellence in real estate, call the Michael Hatfield REMAX team at 925-322-7775 or go to michaelhatfieldhomes.com. Now, back to our show. So we'll see what's going to come up, what she's going to create to empower us because so far the t-shirt and the perfume was really something. So, mm. so you you should think about putting together a catalog, starting with these amazing T-shirts, and yeah. now you can add the the uh, perfume, and That's then true. the next year, which you're not telling us what it's going to be, which is kind of an exciting thing for me because I'm very curious. <laughs> but I mean, you could put together a catalog, put it on Amazon or some uh, big uh, retailer like that and uh, and do well with it. But then I'm thinking money here. And I know getting money is part of something that you need for your organization. But my gosh, folks, this, this, uh, this cause is, is really amazing, you know, with people not having confidence and to move forward and everybody running around all grouchy and cranky as a result of whatever's going on in their life. It's, it's really nice to see something very positive done to, to give confidence and hope to young women as well as someday men too, right? <laughs> Definitely men too. Really. When I was building the house in Senegal, I, I was seeing all these young men. So same thing. We want to empower really everyone in the world. We we want everybody to feel like they can do it. That's the message. Um, the empower Global Woman page. Everybody can just reach out. They can DMS, uh, send us a message, personal message, just ask question. And wherever I can help, I will help. Mm. For women who need help, exp- and just to go on and find Empower Global Women, and and ask reach out rose is is there to to uh assist you and to help you with confidence and and whatever you may need to move forward she's a a very sweet lady and knows exactly what she's talking about so what do you think um the what about young talent what about the the young talent uh that you wish to support in their own business let's get back to that just for just a moment so the young talent, so really right now, we'll, we'll definitely need um, help to support them. But so far, what we are doing with Empower Global Women with the young talent is basically to showcase what they can do and to promote their business so they can get um, so they can get more clients. Um, for example, if you get a chance really to go on the EGW um, Instagram page, you will see this beautiful 3D design of the bottle that was created by a young girl. And her story is amazing because when I met her and I wanted her to do the 3D design, she says she will do it. And then January is coming. We are almost done to do the name Empower Global Women, the labeling and everything, she says she couldn't do it anymore. Mm. And this is the type of uh, challenge that a lot of young people just give up. Even if they have the best diploma, if they have everything, they just give up. They can't. So my question to her was, why can't you finish it? You did ask me that everything that you needed and you were going to do it. She say, the time, I need to work. I need to make maybe a little bit more money. I say, okay, how much? Then I was able to provide her with the extra that she needed so she can take the time to do it, knowing that she have her job also. Wow, that's just amazing. And then she finished 
the design and to me i believe is one of the most beautiful design of the bottle of empower global women it was one of the first also turning as a 3d never saw it before and i think that she have a great talent and then when she saw the brochure coming out and then she on March 8 she was so proud to tell everybody that she did it when she almost gave up so wow. i just wanted to give her back the strength that and that's so when important. i say that we need that because a lot of people can give up very easily but just keep on going so that is the message so if i can do that for new talent i'm in <laughs> Mm, so I know you that can. They need it <laughs> that they need it. So it's not a lot. Maybe there was a small part of money, but mostly it was confidence. Something that sometimes you just need to hear. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of it is <clears throat> tenacity and determination and confidence to do something. Um, I just uh, have to say that I really admire what you're what you're doing there. It's it's. Um, it's hard to find somebody that is humble and kind and have those admirable traits like I noticed in you, Miss Fall. I feel a distinctive uh, I care uh, attitude from you. And do you believe it important for all of us to be kind and humble? I think so. I think yeah, I always I think so. think people laugh, but I always say life is too short. There is no need to have all this negativity around. You know, if you can... Um, be the happiest today and you get it today that's the most important thing tomorrow we'll see absolutely day. yes and so then for young talent by helping them is also purchasing what they're going to be showcasing mm -hmm. and that absolutely. will help them toward their business uh and little by little they will just grow on their own and they will get that in them the confidence that so in summary what would you like to say in closing for those who may find themselves in a situation of uh, of need and and hope what what would you like to say in closing we i say that share your story i mean you don't really have to maybe share your whole story but just reach out by reaching out you get one word that can open up so many doors for you. If you stay by yourself and then you keep it, you won't know what you missed today. So Empower Global Women, what I wanted by doing that page was to say that we are all a celebrity. We are all important. So having those people coming to be as a member and then me featuring them on the page with their picture, First year with the t-shirt, this year with the perfume. It's um, it's just showing how we are all unique. Mm -hmm. And we all have something to bring in somebody's life or in our own life. So we are really, oh. truly someone. So never think that, never think otherwise. <laughs> never think otherwise. So those of you that would like to help either by assisting the organization or by um, buying the product of the year <clears throat> can reach empowerglobalwomen.org. They can reach out to that site and find out how to do it. And also the Instagram site also that's uh, connected with it. You can also go there for um, those type of contributions or personal contributions. I have to say a, a huge thing. Thanks to our new and dear friend, Rose Fall. Thank you for being on the show, Rose. And thank you for having me. Always. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We're so glad that there are people in the world like Rose, and she's the founder of Empower Global Women. Our world is much better off. We're having this wonderful person who's taken on the burden of helping a young women and in the future, probably young men and old men too. Empower Global Women may be reached again through their website, empowerglobalwomen.org. Don't in, don't forget the org at the end, not .com. And they're on Instagram as well at 
empower global women on another note uh please help our show by going to our youtube channel at my real talk show that's at my real talk show at youtube.com and touch the subscribe button and like button too would be great things you've been listening to the real estate and more show empower global women episode we'll be back shortly with our next special guest stay tuned Please remember to go to our new YouTube handle, My Real Talk Show. That's My Real Talk Show at YouTube.com and touch that subscribe button. You can also find past aired shows at our handle, My Real Talk Show on YouTube.com.